Today we're gonna be talking about work burnout. Today we're gonna to be talking about work burnout. Work burnout is a common issue, but there are several strategies you can employ to prevent and alleviate it. I'm gonna be going over some of those tactics today with you. You're gonna to wanna to set realistic goals. You'll break down larger tasks into smaller ones that way, everything is a little bit more manageable, especially for one person. Also, you want to prioritize your tasks based on importance and deadlines. Establish boundaries, and that can even be with yourself. So set clear boundaries between work and your personal life. Uh, avoid answering work emails or calls during your off hours as well. when you are in work mode to kind of just set that boundary with your family and your friends saying, hey, listen, right now is my designated time to work and I need you to respect that. Because I find that sometimes when you work from home or you have a small business and you're working in the space of someone's home or their regular everyday space they don't realize that what you're doing is work they think that you're just kind of hanging around like they are so they try to have casual conversations or um, kind of get in your space and they don't understand that that would be equivalent to walking into somebody's work office if you had a typical job and just kind of meddling or getting in the way unnecessarily. Take breaks. Regular short breaks can refresh your mind and improve overall productivity. Take a step away from your desk, your home, your workspace and do some stretches or take a long walk or a short walk it doesn't matter as long as you're getting outside breathing maybe some fresh air getting some, some water taking this time for yourself to just realize that you're 
so much bigger than your body. Space in your life, in your mind, in your soul, that will reflect in your business or your work or your studies. to learn within the first year of my small business to prioritize self-care. This involves getting enough sleep, eating healthily, engaging in regular physical activities such as walks, exercise. I love yoga in the morning, breath work, taking time for activities you enjoy outside of your job because we aren't our job. That isn't all of us, it's just part of us. Take time to read that book that you've always set aside and said, I'm going to get to that. Get to it. Make that a priority as well. Do things that make you happy. I love plants, so I like to cater to my plants anytime I get a day off. I like to read a book and connect with things that make me happy and keep me grounded. A big one is learning to say no understanding your limits. Don't overcommit to tasks and projects. I've learned really quickly to not say what I'm going to do. I tend to write everything down. Saying no could be to yourself. It doesn't just have to be to the people around you. It's just setting boundaries and keeping a very specific schedule. If you happen to overpromise and underdeliver only you'll know that. Get a customer that's requesting something very specific. I will try to get it done in, in a timely period and then say, yeah, I can do that for you. And then try to squeeze in their special request and then fall short and not be able to do that. That's devastating. As a business owner, you want to fill all of your promises. You definitely want to develop some supportive relationships around you, um, build strong relationships with your colleagues, build that supportive work environment and work around yourself because having someone to bounce ideas off of or talk to or vent to, because those are always, always great ways to release. I am more of an internal struggler <laughs> and I just try to kind of figure things out on my own always that's something that I've been working on and find the most challenging is asking for help being my own boss you don't have a small business and you're just suffering from some kind of burnout from school your regular job then make sure you're communicating this with your supervisors. Discuss your workload, your concerns. Um, share your thoughts on how to better manage tasks and responsibilities. Comes to work burnout, school burnout as well. Education is definitely involved in this. But to reflect on your achievements is so super important. Kind of slow down and reflect back on what you have done and not what we need to get done in the future, where we're going, what we're doing, future plans. Put those aside and just kind of reflect on what we have achieved. Reflect back to two years ago. You're so much further now than you were then. So really stop and pat yourself on the back and say, I have come so far. Yes, I have a long way to go, but I've had a lot so far as well. Skill development is something that I find very helpful. Invest your time in developing new skills to increase efficiency. Being updated with industry trends and technology, do with marketing, social media, always kind of keeping that bulk of content ready, ready to go, ready to launch. Very challenging as somebody who works by myself. Don't have a team to lean on. Everything 
lays on my shoulders when it comes to work and taking any spare extra time that I don't feel being for little tactics and ways to save time, get ahead, and take those wonderful shots, that's the way to go. Nowadays, they have chat GPT, things like that to take advantage of to get you ahead, especially when it comes to social media. I think this might be the most important part of burnout and how to prevent it is to take a vacation and this doesn't just mean a vacation like go to the Bahamas and spend two thousand dollars no I'm not talking about just a physical vacation this could have everything to do with resting and recharging your mind and your body you need to find time to disconnect from work completely during your time off not you know, emails, sometimes, you know, calls come in, I have to check, oh wait, I gotta jump on the computer and edit this email. No, you need to really designate a portion of time to complete an utter disconnection from your job and your schoolwork or whatever it is that's causing the burnout. Really designate a portion of time. And I think by taking the time to just disconnect and just float in the cosmos or connect with nature whatever it is that helps you decompress by doing that you're going to receive the complete polar opposite effect do go back into work mode you'll get that wave of positivity more productive if you take that time for yourself if you just keep hammering away and keep going 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 it's almost like you plateau out and you get no results at least that is the way it works for me Lastly, I do want to lean towards a more serious note when it comes to work burnout or feeling fatigued and just drained overall. This can totally lead to depression, anxiety. All of these crazy things can happen to your body when you're going through these super busy times in your life. And I want you to seek professional help if that's the case where if burnout symptoms persist, consider seeking guidance. The assistant programs are out there or counseling services may be available through your workplace. So definitely check those out. My personal favorite tactic to get through my work burnout as a small business is definitely mindfulness and relaxation. Practice mindfulness, meditation, deep breathing exercises. These all reduce stress and make you a happier, healthier worker person overall. It helps your mental health, your physical health, all of that great stuff. You could even incorporate small relaxation techniques throughout your day. If you don't have the choice to actually take those larger portions of time off to rest and recharge, you can do mindful exercises throughout your work day, on your lunch break, you know, in between tasks, take 10 minutes to do a mindful exercise. You're getting your breathing back on track and getting your mind more centered and focused. Just remember that everyone is so different. It's essential to find a combination of strategies that works best for you. just as you go. Things get a little less complicated as we go on as small business owners and we kind of start to figure things out a little bit better each, each year, each week. Forever changing, right? Year to year.
try to celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how small they may feel. Reflect on what you've achieved rather than focusing solely on what's left to do. you enjoyed this video or gained some knowledge from this video, please consider liking, subscribing, leave a little comment, and we'll see you next time.